Sadish, back in the SRT IP. How was this uh, week? Yeah, this week was exciting because I was able to witness the launch of uh, of Salmi bike, which is an EV bike, which was launched a couple of days back. Uh, it was a fantastic launch, something that the ecosystem of SRTAP or the cohort of SRTAP has been able to build and launch. So that was fantastic. So it's starting to build here now, isn't it? You yeah. see how the, um, obviously now we're working more like with ITV, we've all seen them every week, those guys. Yeah. Obviously, <coughs> perhaps even jointly going to uh, proposals, to custom proposals with them as well. So it's mapping out now, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, I was also able to witness the Arab Parliament for Children, right. which happened at. Uh, there were some excited children who were going around looking at the park itself and going to ITD, right. looking at some of their uh, uh, demos and stuff. So it was fantastic and uh, yeah, it was, it was a good week. So, so even this week I was in Abu Dhabi in uh, 42, Abu Dhabi, and uh, did a, a small company presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously they have a number of um, graduating uh, people there from, obviously from, from the coding side of things and they've invited us back to do a hackathon so one of the things obviously we have to do here as well in the start TIP are hackathons right yeah we haven't actually conducted many as many as we should have done by now but uh, I think over the next um, next six months uh, we would plan to have say, say one uh, one every six weeks at least right yeah and an excellent week in Abu Dhabi for uh, meeting our channel partners like Emilcom and sell info. I think the meeting with uh, the Amircom CEO was fantastic. I think it's it's the first steps towards the building a channel partner ecosystem. Yeah, exactly. They've been doing it in a collaborative way, right? In yeah. terms of uh, the product company, we will use the, uh, the channel to deliver and scale up yeah. our solution and uh, our technology, um, which will which will obviously save us time and, and obviously get uh, customers. Uh, a, a robust uh, technology, and then from a from a university perspective, obviously the um, interns finished uh, this week as well. That we yes. From HCT, and share, uh, from HCT. Um, so that was obviously a, a bit of an experience for us as well. Yeah, and their presentations to us, uh, showing what they achieved at at the Aladpur Baikal internship was fantastic. The interns uh, presented well what they achieved out of. Uh, uh, the collaboration with us and uh, some of the presentations were good. The marketing, especially the marketing presentation was fantastic. She could build up a small documentary regarding the company and the people, which I felt was awesome. And it shows that there is talent that exists here in the university. So it's just a question of exploring them. Yeah, I think there. it was more to do exposure, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing we did. We we got them to actually got, get involved in work that we're actually doing. Yeah, so they so they had the talent and when we gave them the work, I think uh, it just showed that they could do the stuff and increase their employability. The employability, yeah, no, yeah. I, think, I think sometimes there's a, uh, you know, there's, there's that, that gap, isn't there, between the theory and studying in a class yeah. and then coming to the workplace. So hopefully we, we contributed something to that. And of course, from the feedback, it, uh, it looks like we did and we'll get more. In the, in the coming weeks yeah, I'm well. looking forward to more interns in the coming few weeks as soon as the universities open up.